Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about some crazy new agent updates that have been just brought to you in patch 9.02. Um, I kind of skipped over these, kind of went over these in the previous video. However, further testing, I realized actually these kind of deserve a video on its own to actually kind of properly demonstrate and show. And I also found three other agents, not just in the update, that also have some of these abilities that I just completely didn't know about. So if I didn't know about it, Perhaps you guys didn't know about it, so I wanted to bring all of this to your attention. So let's get right into it. So in the update at 9.02, Harbor, Phoenix, and Sky got some crazy cool, like kind of really nice some updates where when it comes to their walls and abilities and such, you have the ability to toggle when using their equipment. So for example, if I go to the profile of Harbor, and I, the reason why I have a profile for everybody, I just wanted to see if everybody has one. Not everybody has one, only six agents do. So if I clicked on the agent of Harbor, I go to Harbor himself, or the category of Harbor. Now I have an option to hold a high tide for hold or toggle. So hold, I would launch my high tide, and I would have to hold it to curve it. Now if I let go, it will only go like this. However, once I turn on the toggle, I will have the ability to actually curve my shot or curve my wall without actually having to hold it. So, and it has, it gives you a lot of nice little availability and a lot of more customization when it comes to playing the agent that you like. So just, just like Harbor, Phoenix has the ability to use a wall very similar, but obviously Phoenix's wall is a lot shorter because of his hip. Now for Phoenix as well, to curve it, I would have to hold on to R1, and bam. And to curve it, R1. However, just like the Harbor update, I have the ability to actually just toggle this stuff. So I go under Phoenix's profile, I go under the Phoenix one as well, I hit the toggle, I go over. Now I don't have to hold on to R1 to curve it. Now we got Sky. Sky has a, also a nice little update for her kit, just uh, for more customization. And definitely for someone like me who has unfortunately the A button for Sky's Flash, I can I could always re rebind it. I don't play Sky that much, so definitely this is welcome addition. However, originally I would just throw the Sky up. I would have to hold on to Har One to actually adjust it. So once I go back into settings, I go under Control Profile, blah 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 blah. I go under Sky. I go under Toggle. Oop. I didn't switch it. I switch it for Sky. This is actually a huge change. So now I don't have to hold on to R to finally pop it. Now for myself, I, I said to myself, these are crazy new updates. And I said to myself, is there any other agents who have this somewhat like toggle ability that you can also use? when you're using certain abilities. Now I found three other agents that are just like this and one of them is absolutely amazing. So I will cover that last just so you guys have to watch the whole video. <laughs> but um, for Astra herself, when you're popping her ult, when you press L1 to actually activate it, you have to press L1 again while maintaining the secondary dot. Okay, so bam. And then I pop her ult. However, with the new change now this might be an old patch or this might be in the game from the start i just have i've never noticed it until now where if i turn on cosmic divide offset on this will drastically help me speed up throwing my alt down and that's super quick so if you didn't notice it as soon as i press l1 the second dot just pops out off to the side i can really pop the alt over here so if i'm retaking the bomb site and i want to let's just say pop it quick that's super quick compared to before where I would have to drag it over. So for Jet, it's a bit different than most agents. For Jet, uh, you have two ways to activate her drift. So when I updraft, I can either press L3 or I can activate focus mode to activate it. Now on the toggle and hold, the exact same things apply. There's also an option for automatic drift. However, I would recommend turning that off because it's better to have more control over your drift than people who don't. So the next agent we got is Raze. And I might be losing it, and I've never seen this setting before until I saw this today. And if I didn't see the setting, you guys maybe haven't seen the setting. So, and even people in my chat, they said, no, nah, I have never seen the setting. This is new. I, w I wonder what point Riot actually introduced this as a setting. Maybe it was that just a hidden setting, a hidden setting. 
that nobody talked about or nobody has been talking about but this makes rays crazy easy and crazy good now so normally when you're throwing your satchels down you go damn and you pop it like this and you have to keep your cro your crosshair down to activate the second one however with the new update it gets super easy and it changes everything so i go over to raise my raise profile and i have a specific raise thing so automatic back throw behind means the second blast pack that you throw after will automatically be thrown beneath you and it will continue your movement so you don't actually have to look down so before i had to look down to throw the second one now i don't i can have my crosshair ready all ready for this next gunfight And I'm already I'm already engaged in this gunfight. While before I would have go like this and then pull up my crosshair, but now this makes engaging gunfights with rays a lot easier and a lot more deadly. Now you still have control. You definitely still have control over your satchels. Like I can curve this really well, and I can get around these corners no problem. If I want to go into elbow, I'm there. Like the amount of Flexibility with this setting really changes everything and it kind of turns Ray's into a really easy character. I would say right now, t Ray's with this setting turned on, I would say Ray's was already an A tier character. Now, I would definitely say she's probably an S tier character. Like, she might be the best duelist in the game, maybe with the setting turned on. That's it for the video, everybody. Don't be afraid to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you next time for these videos. And comment down below, did you already know about all this stuff? Or am I just completely losing it? Or is this completely brand new to you? So I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out. Have a wonderful time.